I'll make this part two of the inspection. So that's where we came from down there. What we're doing actually, uh, we're cutting a slope down to tie into the riverbank down below. And uh, create um, some nice intertidal habitat down low. And then we'll have this bank probably cuts down into here somewhere like a two to one or one and a half to one back up to the property line here. So we're doing that in, uh, for 1200 feet of riverbank on this project. So let's start into the middle section here. On the property line side, to protect this, uh, the neighbor's swale, we have cyclone fence, keep people out, but had them attach burlap fabric with a flap at the base, and uh, this is a compost sock. Here. My goal, was to make this, make the BMPs 100% biodegradable and use as little silt fence and plastic as possible. I, I'm really trying to get away from that stuff. And you notice, so a property line, we're gonna be cutting, cutting down. So why do we need a big silt fence up here? Um, I mean, technically, we don't really need anything there. I mean, we do for the permit, but. So we're gonna, so we're gonna have, uh, what do we have? 1,000 feet, 800 feet of this on that side of the project. So you see it, we're widening out here. So we're gonna be a two to one slope down and tie into the river bank, which you'll see in, in the next video. They've been clearing, getting ready for starting work down here in the next couple of weeks. Um, all the trees, of course, get removed. They're 90% non-native, and we're going to plant all native vegetation on this project. So what we're doing is saving as much of the wood as we can to use as habitat feature on this project. So these trees here uh, will get pulled out. They'll try to maintain the root structure, which I'll show you down here, which we call large woody debris or root wads. Yeah, see, there's a good picture of the nets out here. You gotta tie off, tie off, tie off. I don't know how to fish get out of here. Anyway, so these are logs that have been that we've gotten from this project. I think we had, I don't know, 40 trees we had to pull out. So, um, we have a Kytosan enhanced sand filtration system on the project to collect any site water during excavation. We're pulling out, I forget how many thousand cubic yards, 18,000 cubic yards of the bank. Again, we're cutting from from property line here, two to one slope down, tie into the riverbank. So as they excavate, they will have to pump any water that builds up in the grade up here, back through this header pipe, back into the treatment system. This is river cobble that we're using. Uh, I won't go into detail on how we're constructing all this, but this is all used uh, as part of the habitat work. Here we go an off-road truck, another secondary containment device for leakage. We're getting a lot of boulders out of this project, which we can actually use uh, as we build the project. Not for habitat feature, these will be buried. And I'll show you in the next video uh, where we're using the boulders. One thing I should mention, oh, walked right by it. So this is where I showed in the erosion plan, they could use a sod berm and just basically push all the vegetation to the edge, create a two foot high berm. Um, they said there wasn't enough vegetation to do that. So they decided to use silt fence. Um, but you can see it's not 
my trench in, which actually might be okay in some parts. So can water get away from us? Um, down on the end here, I suppose it could, but from roughly here, for a ways anyway, there's this old concrete curb, which is gonna eventually go out and, and it's right here. So, so there's really, it'd be very difficult for water to leave the project anyway. So I will watch this. I'll have them watch this. I won't make them install it perfectly the way it should be. It's gonna get moved, ripped out anyway, uh, shortly after we start construction, so. All right, so we're about the middle of the project. I'm gonna stop this one and start with the uh, north end of the project where all the fun stuff is.